it's not an easy place uh, to come out of uh, the streets of Philadelphia. Just growing up there, it was just tough. You get exposed to a lot. You get to see a lot of good stuff and a lot of bad stuff. And just walking outside my house, like on my block, like I got, I seen like a lot of my friends get killed, get shot. He told me that back in Philly, he said he seen a lot of things. Um, he seen a, a lot of life changing moments. Um, he lost a lot of friends due to violence. Basically in my neighborhood, like everybody just like protected over me. If we were playing ball and they were like, People were arguing, they knew that it was gonna escalate to something else. And you just like gunshots and everything, so they'll just like tell me before, like, yo, they can't get out the park, so they just make sure I'm safe and they just wanna see me do good for the future. Growing up like that, it, it just makes you uh, tougher, you know? You've been through a lot at a young age, so, you know, when you, you get here, it's a good place, so, you, you know, you could just be yourself and, like, kinda relax. You feel, feel free, you ain't gotta watch your back. It's, it's, it's an environment of good people. Now that I'm around different people, it's just a whole different atmosphere, so I just carry myself different than what I do like when I was back home. It takes a lot of guts to leave where you're from, you've been all your life, to come somewhere where you've never been. It's a whole different lifestyle. Um, when things aren't going well, you don't have your mom and dad right around you. Being around your mom, you know, back to just being a single parent and you build that bond with your mom and your family. And like I basically felt like I was just a, I was the man of the house now, and it's funny because my little brother he five, so like when I call over, I call my mom, and I talk to him. He always tell me he the king of the house now since I'm gone or whatever. So it's real tough being away from them. That's why I try to be there for him as I can. And, um, my parents try to be there for him as they can because you know it's tough when you're not when you're not at home. When you can't be around your mom, your dad. Daquan Walker long three. Got it. Daquan Walker hits his first three pointer. That's definitely from day one we we click. Me and Daquan, we got we got a good relationship. We just like brothers. I, I only know him for about two or three months. His family, I feel like they just like my family, like my home away from home or whatever. Like they basically like take me in. Like after every game, I go up there, I speak to him. My dad, he talks to Daquan a lot, and um, my mom, she's always she's always there for Daquan. She absolutely need anything. Being so far away from home and just to have like his parents being able to like basically take me in like like I'm their son. We formed a bond uh, really fast because we both like to go to the gym, work out. It doesn't matter what time of day it is, uh, they're, they're in there you know, working and practicing and um, trying to better uh, their game. We work out every night, we go at each other, try to push each other to be better and just stay motivated. And We just got like a big vision. For the time that we're here at UCF, we just want to be known as winners and we just want to change the whole culture around here. He's always coming in the gym and I have real respect for him just knowing that he works on his game every day and I feel like he's a great player right now but I feel in four years he'll be even better. Walker has a two on one. He'll go for the layup. Nice drive. Daquan Walker took it all the way himself. Big move by the freshman. Coming from Philly I had to develop a style of play where I was just basically had to be tougher because I had to go out there and just play against grown men every day. I think that creates that street toughness, that hard playing basketball guy that really is from Philly. Having nosebleeds, you getting scratched up, you getting teeth knocked out and every day was just, just a grind you going out there. You just had to go out there on the court and earn your respect playing street ball. Inner city basketball, urban basketball is the strength in our country, you know, because of competition athletes in that area and their passion for the game. He's going to have a bright future. He played a lot of minutes this year as a freshman and that's big so you know coming next year I, I can see him having more confidence. Daquan Walker I think he's one of the hardest workers on our team if not the hardest. He's going to see a lot of moments at UCF and I think UCF will love him. Just seeing the fans come out every day and just supporting us it means a lot to me. I want to just thank the fans for that. He's always smiling. He's a good kid and I think he's trying to do things to not just better himself on the court, but you know, better himself off the court like that, you know, get connected with the fans. I'm just thankful that I'm just here and just out of Philly. So I just always have like a positive outlook on life and I'm just thankful just to be here. I think Daquan is a great role model, just knowing that everything he does, he does it to help others out. He's not selfish at all. He's all about the team effort and I feel like he's a role model that a lot of people at UCF community will look up to. You never know who look up to you, you never know who's watching. So now that I have a young brother, he's five, so I know he always looks up to me. So I'm just trying to like live a good life and just be positive for him so that he can have a role model to look up to. Because I know he's looking up to me. When I talk to him every day, he always tell me that. He like, I want to be just like my brother and everything like that. So that always put a smile on my face. So I just want to live my life right for him.